again, it's Katie here from Meet the Maskies. It has been a hot second since I have done one of these videos. So I apologize in advance for that right now, but I'm super excited to be back with you today because I am doing another hair product testing. Yes, you're probably gonna see some cats in the background. You may even hear them, so I apologize now for that. But um, anyways, I'm doing a hair tutorial today. I've never tried this tool. Uh, so you're gonna be joining me for the very first time. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited If you have watched any of my other videos and you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button to this channel I would really really love to have you uh, join me in some of my future video journeys. All right, let's go ahead and get started Okay, here it is. I am testing out a brand new tool. I say brand new, but I literally bought this thing months ago. It has been sitting in its package, unopened, have not touched it, and finally had the time today and figured I would test it out. So I am going to be testing out the Unbound Beauty in Motion. They're calling this an auto curler. It's from Conair. And now let me reiterate, in case this is the first time you've ever watched any of my videos, I have no affiliation with Conair. I do not get paid by them. I do not get paid by YouTube. I just like doing these videos because I have some friends that enjoy watching them and I don't know, I just, I have fun doing them. So even if nobody watches them, I'm enjoying this, whatever. Okay, so this is supposedly one of these tools where you stick your hair in it, you press a button and it does the work for you. I'm a little skeptical, not gonna lie, especially because I have shorter hair. So that was kind of one thing I really wanted to test out with this to see if something like this works for those of us with shorter hair. I haven't even opened it yet. The sticker is still on it, okay? So I haven't even, uh, let's see what this thing looks like. All right, here we go. I'm going to uh, take it out of the package for the first time, if I can get it out. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. So I picked this up at Ulta and um, it comes with a little charging cord. Oh, maybe I need to charge it. Oh, uh-oh, this video might be, might be in parts here. Okay, so let me get it out of the plastic if I can do that as I'm dropping everything. All right, so here's what it looks like. Um, there is, it just says start, start button, and then it says setting and on off mode, whatever that means. And um, here is the box, okay? So it says on the box that it has 16 minute cord free runtime. So then you, when you're using it, you don't get all tied up in the cord, I guess. Um, it does have a four to five hour charge time. Uh, ceramic coated barrel, anti-tangle protection. Okay, that's good. It does have up to a 400 degree uh, Fahrenheit high heat and a digital display. It does have three heat and four timer settings. Timer? Okay. Um, Multi-directional curl. So you can, I'm assuming that means you can go this way or you can go that way. I know when I like to do my curls away from my face, I, I do them away from my face, around my face I should say, and away from. And then sometimes I'll do some of the back ones like multi uh, different directions. So that's nice to know that it has that feature. Um, so here is the, the directions right here on the side. Choose your heat and select your curl direction. Left, right, or mix. And then it's got start with a one inch section of hair and insert hair into the curl chamber. Press and hold the button to begin curling. Wait for the beat and then release the perfect curl. All right, Con Air, I'm waiting for that perfect curl. Okay, so I will tell you, I'm gonna get this all set up here, but I'll start by telling you my hair is three day old hair. Okay, I have really kind of thin, fine hair. It's pretty dry, so I can get away with that. It doesn't get overly greasy, but I do love using dry shampoo. This is just Batista, I don't even know. It was a cheap one. So I usually just spray a little bit of this on my roots, um, especially around my face, just because that's where it can get a little bit more greasy if it does. 
And then um, I love the texture um, spray by Sexy Hair. This is Surfer Girl. I really, really love the way that it smells. Um, but this kind of works like a dry shampoo in that sense. It just adds more grit and texture and it gives me volume. Okay, so I have three day old hair. I don't know how this would work on freshly cleaned hair because my hair does need a little bit of grit to it for the texture. But I'm going to plug this bad boy in and we're gonna give this a whirl. So give me just one second and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here I am. The uh, Unbound Beauty in Motion Auto Curler, I had to remember what it was called again, um, is charged. And that actually, it had a little bit of charge apparently, even though it's been sitting in the box for months. And so it didn't really take too long. It does not turn on while it's plugged into the charger. I will say that. I kept trying to turn it on. I'm like, oh great, here we go. But then as soon as I unplugged it, it turned on. And I will say it only came with a USB charger, which is kind of annoying. Um, maybe I'm old school, but I do everything in my bathroom. I don't necessarily have uh, just a blank USB port here in my bathroom. So that was kind of super annoying. It didn't come, so I had to find, I had to go steal my phone end and um, use that to plug the USB in so that I could plug it in the wall. So that was kind of my first, eh, not love. But I turned it on and I don't know if you can see that there. So it turns on, it has 320, 360, and 400. That it had four, oh no, three heat settings okay and then once you like if you want to go through the settings so it's heating up right now I can feel it getting warm um you hit the on off switch a couple times and it'll take you through so right now it's a, a flashing the temperature so if I wanted to increase that I just hit the setting um go through the motions and then now it's blinking R because I have it turning right and um, time is 12, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that and see how it is. So, here we go. Are you ready? I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start on this side of my head and I've got it going towards the right. So I think this is the right, the correct direction. What, what do I need to do? Oh my gosh, this is so weird. So I'm going to just hold it up to here Okay. What do I do? I don't know. Oh my God, is it? Has it been 12 seconds? I think it's time for 12 seconds. <gasps> okay. It gave me a curl, but it's actually going forward, and I want it to go the other way. So I'm going to. I swear, I put. Okay. I'm going to switch that. So let's go through the motions. All right, now I've got it set for left. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm actually, wow, all right. Let's do this again. I want it to go the opposite way. I'm just holding it right up to it. Okay, there's that. I think I just hold it here for a few seconds. I'm not really sure what the, Timer, four timer settings. I don't know. Oh, okay, it just beeped. Apparently I wasn't holding it in long enough. All right, but this is the correct direction. Interesting. All right, this is interesting. This is really interesting, guys. Okay, so let me, um, let me take these two. This is really weird, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna pin these up. Let's try this again with, it says to take a one inch section. I have no idea how to gauge that. So again, all right, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna try to show you. See how it just kind of like sucked up the hair? I'm gonna hold this here until it beeps this time. Because apparently that's what the timer's for, which I thought, but it's probably 12 seconds and then it never beeps. So I didn't want it to like burn my hair. This is really crazy. But it doesn't feel warm. I mean, it feels Warm-ish. All right. Why is it not beeping? I feel like it's been 12 seconds. I'm just taking it out. Okay. See, it didn't beep that time. It beeped the last time. I'm gonna go through the timer. Okay, I, I changed it to eight. 
All right, but look, it gave me a curl, and it feels warm, but it doesn't feel like super hot. This is, this is weird. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is quite interesting. I don't know that, I, and I, this is a pretty good curl. I'm gonna brush it out, but okay, here we go. Let's do this again. I'm holding it up. All right, I just un. Press the button. I pressed it until I figured it was in there. Now I set it for eight seconds. So let's see if it actually does something. All right. Are we gonna hear a beep? How do I know when eight seconds is up? I'm gonna watch my timer on my phone. It has definitely been eight seconds. Why is it not beeping? I don't know, but it's curling, okay? I don't know why the beeper isn't working. It feels warm. All right, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna do this again, but I'm gonna count this time. I don't know why the, the timer isn't working. That seems kind of odd, but here we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys, it's actually curling my hair. I can't believe this. Okay, this is this is kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna keep going through and I'm gonna speed this up um, just so you're not super bored watching and then I'll be back. So give me just a second. Okay, I figured something out. I'm supposed to hold the button to keep turning it until it beeps. All right, so I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this. Ready? And then it stops. So I don't know if that's just like, I don't, I don't know exactly what that's doing. Now, I will say for short hair, these pieces under here are always hard for me to get with various tools. So I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna have some issues with this. So this might be more difficult, let's see. Okay, it curled it. It was like, it was like sucking up hair next to it. I don't know if you saw that, it was, Taking hair that wasn't the original piece that I grabbed. I'm, I'm just like randomly grabbing pieces now. And it's playing it the whole time. Eight seconds, it automatically just stops. Okay, this is, see these curls? It's giving me curls. All right, so let's, let's move on to this side. Let's see, let's switch this around. I'm not ready to do mixed yet, so I'm gonna do it on right. All right, here we go. Taking my section of hair, I'm gonna try to, I don't know if I can. Ooh, this is hard, I'm left-handed, so this is gonna be kind of difficult here. Oh, I gotta figure this one out. Okay, I'm holding it. This is weird, this is weird. Okay, here we go. just stops. <gasps> it curls. <laughs> okay, this is, like, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm really, because I feel like this is one of those gimmicky things, and I don't know, they usually aren't very successful. <gasps> but, okay, see, I'm just putting it, here's the opening, okay, here's, here's what it looks like. So when I, it like grabs the hair in there and then just keeps turning. I'm going to push it, push my hair through. You see that? Eight seconds. Okay, I feel like I need a little bit longer. And you can see I was putting this, this is just warm. It's definitely not hot by any means. I'm gonna move that timer back. I'm gonna move it to 10. Let's do 10 seconds. Okay, grabbing another piece of hair. This is crazy. Are you guys, this is crazy, okay. Pushing it, just setting it right through there, pressing the button. It took it, I've got it set for 10 seconds. 
This is insanity. Okay. I'm like really shocked. I keep saying that, but I'm really, I am very shocked by this. All right, I'm gonna keep moving through this section. I'll fast, I'll fast forward this, but um, I'll be back soon. Okay guys, I have to say, like I haven't touched it yet. I'm really quite shocked by this. Now, pros and cons. I don't know if you could see some of my face in that video of me speeding that up, but there were times where if because of my shorter hair, I feel like I have to go closer to the root because I don't have all this hair to curl and it was sucking in hair that was not in the original group that was in the barrel and it was kind of like getting stuck then. So that was a little bit more difficult. Um, I will say that, it's kind of a con for that. But, oh, I mean look at the curls when you get it right. And again, this is my very first time using this. Now, I don't love how these pieces are kind of doing this. I feel like I'm probably gonna need to hit that up with a an actual curling iron. I don't know, let's see. I have it just on the mixed view right now. So it's it's just randomly picking a curl. Okay, that's better. All right, that kind of, ugh, I don't know. I don't know what way it's turning it, so it's just randomly. So I might be like undoing my curl. But um, there's probably some things I'm gonna need to maybe touch up with a actual curling iron. And the back is kind of super difficult to do. I'm also like really awkward when I can't use my, my left hand properly. So let's see, see how it's not, okay. Got it in there, it's taking it, it's turning it. Beeped, 10 seconds, okay, all right. It's doing it. So the back is definitely kind of an issue. Um, I feel like if I could get more used to using this tool, it might not be a problem. It kind of just, like I said, it kind of wanted to like snag a couple of times, um, but it started beeping at me like, hey, you dummy, it's not working right. So I was able to kind of pull it out, but um, Still, like it wants to grab pieces next to it. So that's, I don't know if that's just me because my hair is shorter, it's a short hair thing. Um, but I'm going to then just really kind of run my hands through this to smooth this out a little bit. But my gosh, I am really, I haven't, I haven't even sprayed it. I haven't put any product really in it um, other than just that dry texture spray. I haven't looked at the back. Let's look at the back. I feel like this piece also needs to something happen with it. Okay, let's see. The back is not even done. The back is not even done. Okay, so I'm going to take some time and work on the back. I'll speed this up again and uh, let's see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to kind of fluff this a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, run my fingers through it, give it a little spray. I don't feel like it needs much. I might play with these ends a little bit, but I am totally, see now there's pieces. This is, I think this is just a first time use issue because I don't know what I'm doing. Literally, I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like if once you get the hang of this thing, it could be a really cool product to use very quickly. And you know, I didn't burn myself. 
Um, I love using flat irons and wands and all of that. The wands, I have a hard time because you have to hold your hair and wrap it. I'm always, I always accidentally hit my fingertips at the, uh, on it and burn them. And with the flat irons, I mean, sometimes, you know, you just have a harder time getting some of these pieces too. So that's, I think, a con for a lot of products, a lot of tools, I should say, when you have shorter hair, is these underneath pieces and even just on the back, um, you know, not burning yourself or really just getting, getting them, being able to curl them or, you know, give them some sort of attention because that's just harder to do. But I am so pleasantly surprised by this right now. I'm like kind of shocked. Um, I, like, again, I'll give you a 360 at the very end so you can kind of see everything, but um, this is, this is, it's got good volume and I'm gonna spray it and, okay, so thumbs up so far. Or maybe thumbs kind of sideways, how about that? that so, thumbs sideways, if I can talk. Uh, just because I still need to practice with it. I was a little awkward, you know, figuring out like, okay, how, how do I hold it? How do I put my hair in there? And then also it got a little tangled uh, if you're too close to other hair or you're too close to your, kind of almost to your scalp, then it'll want to try to grab other hair and then it gets a little ratty and tangled. So those are my cons, but pros, it was pretty easy once you figured it out. I didn't, it's not hot to touch, um, so you don't have to worry about burning yourself. I love that it's cordless. That was super convenient. Um, just because I can get always tangled up in the cord. So there are a lot of pros and cons. I'm gonna keep using this and give it another whirl, but here's my first go at it. You tell me what you think in the comments and uh, maybe try it out for yourself. Who knows, you might just love it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos. Thanks everybody. Thank <laughs> you.